I think I'm gonna go for a drive. It's early in the morning. Might as well. <clears throat> Take the focus. I'm gonna go turn it on and get the heat going. As a result of flipping the focus, I am now stranded using only the only remaining vehicle I have that runs, which is the old Fox body. Yeah, we're gonna be driving you for a while. Poor girl, sorry about the miles. I didn't mean to put them on, on the road. I meant to put them on on the dragway. <laughs> uh, so we're on the hunt for a new vehicle. I don't know what, I'd like a hatchback. I'd like a five speed. I'd like it to have heat and air conditioning. Well, that's it. We'll see what we can come up with. Let's see what we can come up with. Just so you know where I'm okay I'm alive thank God um, but now comes the question of uh, what the fuck am I gonna drive so I would be driving the Fox body is the answer but what am I gonna be driving in the winter I can't drive that car in the winter car what doesn't even get out of a fucking garage in the winter so it's time to go buy a car hey yo a fucking Hyundai the Loster Turbo. 1.6 liters, front wheel drive, 204 horsepower, I think is what they said. MBRP exhaust, there's no, uh, no muffler. I ain't, she ain't there. Um, Got a boost gauge on it with uh, shitty installation. And it's got spike lug nuts and then a missing spike. That's always good. Balding snow tires. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, visually, it looks all right. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Paid 7,500 for this. So, what the fuck happened here? Where's this? That does a lot of good. You stay. It's like duct tape. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Pretty standard 1.6 GDI. Turbo. You can see it's got the KNN filter. Ooh. Oh, that does a lot of good. Yeah, it's supposed to be bolted. And uh, let's see, missing screw, missing screw, resulting in that moving up. Isn't that just lovely? It's a Hyundai's 
favorite fucking light. So here's an interesting feature I've uh, noticed about the car. Uh, it's a very cold New England mornings. So what do we know about metal and cold? It contracts uh, and the shift knob, don't worry, I'm, not, I'm wearing my seatbelt. The shift knob just comes right off. And I'm pretty sure when it gets warmer, it's gonna be harder to take that off. Uh, it's obviously like fucking 20 something degrees out right now. Um, <laughs> so we'll wait until it gets nice and warm and uh, see if it's see if it's harder to take off. Well, I gotta say, it is a much nicer day. Um, it's probably about 70 something. Obviously I got the windows open. But, uh, yeah, it's much harder to take the uh, thing off. And that's because metal expands and contracts. Always gonna wash your exhaust. To not have dirty exhaust. Ooh, Spectre on a K&N. Oh, sacrilege. Look at that fucking... It's broken. It's straight up just fucking broken. What a piece of junk. I'm just gonna. That didn't take much effort at all. Stupid fucking thing. Get. So this is the old air filter, very dirty, very small too. So I'm glad that is uh, off. Oh my God, I actually separated. Oh, look at the little itty bitty filter. That thing's so tiny. It's clogged as a motherfucker too. That's a wicked fucking restriction. Jesus Christ. And uh, with the old and in with the new. That's the cheapest filter I could find for under $50. Well, that's not true. There was a really tiny one that bulged out that looked gay like Honda's, but this is the only one I could see that didn't look stupid. So, <clears throat> and it is a Spectre, by the way, on the K&N, keeping it sacrilege AF. I honestly don't know why I do shit sometimes. So you've heard of variable valve timing. Well, I'm about to show you something neat. So this is one, two, three, and four from the car. And if you look, the porcelain's all the way flush. And now it's not. All right. It's not fucking focusing. But see if I can't get a zip tie to fucking. Now it's gonna make me look like a fool. Oh, you see that? Variable spark. I wonder if this one does the same thing. Yep, number four does the exact same thing. That's what was misfiring. One and four. And uh, number three looks like is a champion, while one, two, and four are Bosch. What the fuck? Also did a belt tensioner. I had the dealer uh, put in a e AC compressor. Um, but this thing is just, yeah, it just keeps going. It's not supposed to do that. And then the belt, belt was okay, which I might actually keep around for a spare just in case. But everything else is junk. So we got it kind of fixed. Um, running a little bit better. It sounds better, too. You can actually hear it go, Fwock! old girl, just waiting. It's been sitting here so long. There's moss growing on it, mushrooms growing near it. That door sounds still so sounds mint. Ooh, it's muggy in here. Muggy and musty and moldy and mildewy and disgusting. <coughs> I, need to, I need to salvage this subwoofer. Oh, oh, it's thick in here. It's like the soup air is soup. Oh. Whew. Oh, baby girl. You need uh you need to take a shower. Whew. What in the crack smoking cousin fucking bullshit. 
What the fuck? Got all the fucking shit moved out of the way. Look at how he ran the wires and just... Oh, man, that bugs me a little bit. But did score some fucking 20-pound monoline. And, uh, ooh, a little uh, root beer nip. We'll have that for later. First aid kit, don't need that. Tire inflation kit, don't need that. Is there a spare under here? Probably not. Does this car have a spare? Probably not. Who knows? I don't really give a shit, to be honest. I don't know what the deal is with the previous owner and the color blue. But let's see, calipers used to be blue. I find a piece of uh, separation on this that tells us it was blue, because I know it was. That was blue. Let's see. This thing was blue. Oh, that was definitely blue. What the fuck? Washer fluid only, blue. Walmart battery, blue. rain -X wiper blade, blue. I mean, what is the deal with this car in the blue? The parts box is blue. The previous emblem used to be blue. The amplifier is blue. The speaker done blue. The front emblem used to be blue. Yeah, that's good for it. Yeah. No muffler all the way back. Looks like that got hot and melted. Funky. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. I don't want any sharp edges. Fold that back over. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, dust shields. Where are you? There is nothing on the back for these dust shields. Not a goddamn thing. Oh, there goes the rest of it. Yeah, she needs a ball joint over there. And over here. All right, so ordered a kit that has sway bar links, both control arms, and both tie rod ends. Uh, and somehow it was cheaper than buying one control arm. So I'm going to go through. Oh, we also got drilled and slotted brakes, ceramic pads. So I'm going to just go through and clean these up for right now and try and make them a little bit better for the meantime. Um, I don't know if I have any red paint. I don't think so. None of that looks red. Red's a color I don't normally spray. Oh, wait. Oh, well. Oh, I think we're getting race calipers, boy. All right, so well, I figured before we start fucking with that, what better way to spend our time than to paint the factory wheels gold? Yep. Didn't come out perfect. Obviously, these are just the factory wheels with snow tires on them. And you know how normally people put uh, playing cards in there? Well, I had an abundance of oil change stickers. So that's what I used for them all. I think they came out better than uh, uh, better than black. But I mean, all that cracking, man. So then you say fuck it and admit that you were defeated and go and buy a set of wheels anyways. These are Enkais. I don't know if they're real or not. Uh, honestly, I don't really care. But they're going to get turned to gold and they're going to get put on the car. These rubbers are too big. They don't fit the car. So we're gonna get smaller tires, put them on. Hopefully uh, everything fits. They should have the same offset. And uh, I have new lug nuts to put on. So we're done with those spiked lug nuts. And uh, yeah, I know there's only three here. I don't know where the other one is. It's, it's somewhere. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I ordered brakes. That is called delamination of the rotor. And Clearly, the back side wasn't grabbing at all, unlike the front, which is only grabbing in the middle, which is kind of typical, but that's pretty fucked up. Oh, yeah. Oh, the build is coming together now, boys. We got red brake calipers. Ooh. That doesn't look half bad. 
red caliper, gold wheel. It's uh, just about winter time out here in New England. Uh, so we're gonna be leaving these wheels on with the snow tires. Uh, when the snow actually hits the ground, we're gonna put the ones in the rear up front just because they don't have excessive camber wear. Now, I didn't see any camber adjustments underneath. I don't know if there's any adjustments on the top of the strut or if we're gonna have to buy uh, camber adjustment bolts, but um, I mean, it's wearing the, the inside like crazy. And you just see this thing chewing through tires. So we'll see. Hey, yo, dog, I heard you like spoilers. So I got a spoiler for your spoiler. Look at that. This is like an $800 carbon fiber sequence spoiler. Uh, we're gonna need to drill holes up top and bolt it down. A little bit of 3M. Um, yeah, I think that looks, that looks schnazzy. I really like that. And it's super light too. It's only like, that's like less than five pounds. So it's pretty cool. Oh yes. Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> oh man, a fucking room up here. Right there. Dustin, your DeSoto is pretty cool. Thank you, Rock Auto, for giving me, let's see, both front control arms, brakes. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not, those are not the brakes. Um, this car doesn't have rear drum brakes. That's nice. And tie rod ends. So I have all of it. This is useless to me. Cock Auto, all the farts your car will ever need. We ordered yeah. drilled and slotted rotors for the VT front and rear. Really nice uh, pads. New control arms in here. Has some exhaust clamps and uh, new hardware. So that should uh, get her going. Get it nice and good. We got. New rubbers installed on the Inkies, Inkai, I don't fucking know, Aki, in, in, Inky, 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 yeah, Inky, we'll go with Inky, uh, I got them installed, new rubbers installed, I think we're gonna paint them gold just like the regular wheels, um, and then we'll keep this, uh, curb and fiber center cap. And I think that'll look that'll look pretty decent with this thing. Here at Mechanic Dave, we like doing things twice for no reason and spending more work than need be. We had to paint the original wheels gold, and then we had to go out and buy some inkies and then paint those gold. Look at the tread difference, though. These are the front snows. This was the passenger side. Uh, where's the big bulge bubble? Uh, right there. There's a bulge right there. And look at the tread wear. Whew, that's almost down to secondary rubber. That's pretty rough. I, I am a really good mechanic. And I noticed I was hearing a noise after, um, after I redid the brakes a little bit and just cleaned them up. And I swear to God, I just pulled the wheel off and just started. It shouldn't. Oh boy. Out with all of this old, worn out shit. Oh, wow. I had a little bit of life in it. These sway links weren't bad. Rotors, eh, not awful. But now it's time for the new stuff and the beef. I like the drilled and slotted rotors, especially the black ones. I think that'll look good with the red calipers and the gold face wheels. Oh, look at how pretty that is. All red for racy, a silver or cool, a turbo. Yep, just sprayed it down with some red uh, plastic 
engine plastic paint. I just figured easier than unbolting a valve cover and painting a valve cover. You can't make shit like this up. Get a good, good grip on it. The bolt was loose. I've sprayed it with WD-40 and I'm gonna uh, attempt to run it through the snap-on thread chaser. So this car actually has underglow installed on it. Let me show you how it was installed though. It's, it's, oh yeah. Buddy was on all kinds of crack. I mean, what the fuck? It goes all the way. That's just un. Oh, wow. The craftsmanship. That's my best part right here. The one where it's just dangling and you can, and everybody can see it. Come here, you. <clears throat> Gotta try and get rid of it in the most humane way possible. Oh, man, you drown in the shallow end of the gene pool. I would like to specify that it didn't work beforehand. So this is actually a LED kit that you can buy in Lowe's that most people use for uh, their bedrooms. And this dude, high on crack, saw it and was like, yeah, I'll get that. That peanut garbage and let me show you the underglow kit that we're going to be using today there it is six passenger golf cart underglow so i professionally do uh golf carts that's all i do with my life so i install these all the time and it's a pretty decent so all you do is you wire this box to switch 12 Hook it up to this box, throw in the lights, plug them in. You can plug more of them in. Uh, it's all 3M adhesive, screw it into place, and you're done. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen, right? The main power box is here, and this has manual controls on it. The power wire is going to follow the amp power wire through that hole under the dash to the switch 12 volt. That means this box now has power. We then plug in this wire, run it across, hiding it nicely so it doesn't look like shit, over to the distribution block over here, plug it in, and then we run all our underglow, run the wires up, plug them in, doesn't interfere with anything. And it's actually perfect fit, so. Almost like it was made for it. So that's the plan. All right. It is now pitch black outside. Everything's all wired up. Time for the final results. Power on. Cool. <laughs> Let's see. Even lighten up the Mustang. Okay, so because we have a real carbon fiber wing, 
we had to buy this uh, cheap fake carbon fiber uh, mirror covers. So they go over your mirrors uh, like that. And that's just some Gorilla Tape holding it on. It's supposed to be 3M, but they sent me some... Uh, they, 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 they sent me this shit. It doesn't say 3M on it. And it is thin as shit. And I did not trust it. And I was out of the actual 3M. So, Gorilla it was. And just like that, with a little bit of 3M tape and some pressure, you got yourself a genuine race car. That's how you know the car is the epitome of safety. Speaking of race car, because the seat belts in this thing are garbage and they decided to stop working, um, I got the four point harnesses in and the harness bar. The only downside is there's just this plain face with a hole right there, but a little Joe Biden sticker. I did that. You know, I think that'll clean it up good. And harnesses are mounted. We have that it's bolted right to the seat, just like the factory. Move back here. And we can see the tabs got welded on, bolted and wrapped. And then down here, we built this L bracket with another one of these tabs in the middle for structure. And it bolts on the other part of the strap. And it comes up to the tie rod. And it's all bolted up. Obviously, everything had to be uh, drilled offset because Veloster. But uh, it was fun ripping the uh, seats out and cleaning the carpet. I got a whole jar of goodies I want to show you that I found. In this jar is everything that I found in that fucking car. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a Starbucks cup, if you're wondering. Let's see. A whole thing of fuses purchased from the family dollar for a dollar twenty-nine. Still unopened. Wonder what those would go to. Let's see. Underneath the back seat was this Trump 2024 that whatever it cost cost three dollars. Good investment. Found this uh, little tag for the Army Reserves. Not as cool as a real dog tag, but cool. Little miniature screwdriver that has bunch of stuff caked in it and kind of smells like weed this little contraption that looks like it's part of a lego set which is actually the fucking pin safety for a gun so i'll add that to my collection oh this is my probably my favorite that i'm actually going to use it's a bread tie from 2022 and then these Let's see, he has a uh, Bigfoot Vermont, little key tag bottle opener thing. And then there was a uh, little Bigfoot Croc charm in there. Oh, and uh, as any car, there's just a little bit of change that uh, that you find under the seats. You know, just a, maybe five cents or so. Okay, so I counted everything out and we have $6.69. So if we do the math, Purchased the car for $7,500. Found $6.69. Uh, bought the spoiler, the wheels, the tires, the mirror covers, the harness, the harness bar, the short throw, the short throw shifter, all the paint, uh, the stick on eyelids, the bumper holder thingies. Um, shifter boot, a door, a fuel door latch, um, new HAD headlights, a starter, a battery. If you total all that up, oh, hang on, boost gauge, pil boost pillar gauge. Um, if you total all that up, I think we're breaking even. <sighs> 
I've had a co-pilot this whole time. I've been riding with Jesus. So I'm going to put that back in the, uh, in the rear cup holder. And we'll leave Jesus to be and protect this Veloster. Holy shit, 30 minutes into the video. Well, I really like this car, even though it's foreign. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a good replacement for the Focus, quite the fucking upgrade. Keeps up with the Mustang. Obviously, the Mustang's faster. Thing only runs fucking 15s. Um, but, I mean, this is turning out to be a pretty sweet car. We did a couple of uh, little little modifications here and there. Um, I think I'd like, I'd like to get a tune on it. I'd like this thing to be a little bit more powerful, but it doesn't need to be like 4,000 horsepower. <laughs> I've seen videos online of these things getting like 425 horsepower and that's fucking crazy. Um, I want stiffer suspension. Um, I, or I had already ordered a, um, a rear sway bar, um, that bolts on. There is no rear sway bar in this thing. It's just that one torsion beam. Um, so I want stiffer suspension, like a little bit more power. Oh, yeah, this car is pretty decent. I'm sure you'll see it around in, uh, in some future videos. Uh, probably going to be racing it. It does decent burnouts. You might see some more of that. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.